I do beseech you. It says it's connecting. I'm just going to wait and see. Okay, can you guys hear me now? Stupid thing. Yeah, the screen just started buffering and then my OBS had a brain fart, I guess. And it reset. Everything okay? Can you hear me now? Testing. One, two, four, five, seven, eleven. <laughs> Talks to Dread stream, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, good, Dragon. Yeah, so so anyway, we did. We, tur we tore out the whole building, and we put a set of poles around the middle plate. So you'll notice that when you get in anyway, but we did a little bit of upgrading yesterday. But like I said, we wanted to take it out because the zombies were all getting caught up in there. Pick me up a hot dog at 7-Eleven. <laughs> all right. Okay, here we go. Chiefly that I might <coughs> set it in my prayers. What is your name? Have fun, Dread, honey. Miranda. We'll join oh, you in a little while. My father, I have broke your hest to say so. <laughs> Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, oh. the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Wait, we saw this Sorry, already. Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's uh. been very accommodating and to your other fellow actors and most of all to yourself. Mr. Keaton, we, we did this already. Sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Why did this go back? Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. I don't Exquisite know what happened. Rachel, I don't know why it went back. Always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with my affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah. Did I press a button to go back or something? We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is. Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion <coughs> for Ferdinand just inexperienced oh, in dramatic me. circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? I guess we'll say the same thing. Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. <laughs> wow. A romantic and a cynic. That actually kind of helps me. Thanks. New Thanks, follower. Mr. Keaton. Later. That, See you later, guys. Oh no. Welcome, I have welcome. First period Thank improv with a class follow. full of freshmen it. now. I see the stream buffering, guys. I'll just be a minute. Um, let me check something. Okay. So, why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Oh, I know what it was. We failed uh, with the time. That's what it was. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so we got to grab the belt. Okay. Uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't... Okay. Thank you so much for the follow, Asbeck. Rachel looks so happy here. Okay, don't dawdle. We gotta get the belt. There's Rachel's belt. All right, there we go. So I think that's yeah, so what happened. We'll give this to Rachel now. Oh, did I just go the wrong way? Yeah, I did. Oops. So I probably waited too long. Is what it was. I'll check the OBS uh, in a minute, see if it's losing Rachel, frames. is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Uh, is she naked? Oh, almost. <laughs> uh. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So? Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? <laughs> no. 
Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you finish changing now. So I take it she was supposed to be Chloe like maybe Price. one of the popular Rachel girls? Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. You call getting attacked by goons amazing? I've got to hang out with you more. Hmm. Deal. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Uh, sure. Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, well, I don't know if we should be ditching, but... All right, too late for that. Guess we're ditching. Uh, you know, I found out there's no 7-Eleven stores in West Virginia. They're all country fair stores. Come to Pond, there's a 7-Eleven on almost every corner. Oh, Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of 7-Elevens here in Canada. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus or? Well, in Toronto nope. anyway. If we're going to go rogue, we're doing it right. I think there's still some down in Toronto. I'm not sure. There's not well, up here where I am. But. What the hell am I getting into here? Yeah, what are you getting into? Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Seattle? Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. It's called your Price. It sounds weird. Hey, why aren't you and Kim? Everything okay? Yep. I heard shit went down with Drew and Nathan, did you see? Yo, let's talk later. Okay. Alright. Any other ones down here? Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. It was playing so good before, now it buffers so much. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, we just paused the stream on the TV, so we'll see. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Sorry, I'm fixing my headset. Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? Notice of Termination, that Prescott Foundation. Totally checks out. Notice of Termination? Ooh. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. <clears throat> we need a crate to sit on. This one over here, maybe? Yeah, there you go. Oh, I was... I was <laughs> Things heavier than it looks. The one thing I miss from up north is... Sheets? Guess I should sit down. Sheets? All right, Chloe. I was about we to say, welcome, to Jason. <laughs> nice to realize it was my Jason. Play it cool. <laughs> is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Yeah. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Mm. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, um, what is wrong with you? What? You're acting nervous. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. 
Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Thanks. Hey, so... I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, no. dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. Uh, if you hadn't shown <laughs> up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Yeah, you Is owe me, that dude. Why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well, I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. You're gonna need more than that. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun? Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Let's do something fun. Like? Okay, I'm listening. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie? Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sure, okay. Why not? Let's do Sounds it. It's fun. You're on. Yeah, Sheets gas stations are all around the north. They're like Wawa, but we're I'll start. Wawa. First, I'm ambidextrous. I haven't heard of Second, Wawa either. I'm not from the States. I was born in New York, <laughs> and of fashion and Broadway. Which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous. <clears throat> born in New York and a Leo. Gotcha. Uh. So, which is the lie? Ambidextrous. Ambidextrous. Isn't that where you can write with your right and left hand? Yeah. Uh, let's go with ambidextrous. I don't buy the ambidextrous claim. No? Well, that's too bad, because it's true. Prove it. Sign your name with both hands. Sign where? On my Seriously? butt. Seriously? All the bad girls do it. Come on. Damn. Oh, she is. I'm afraid the lie was New York. I'm a Cali girl, born and raised. So oh. New York's on the bucket list. Broadway, here I come. <laughs> cool. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Tell her a lie. Uh, I broke, I'm allergic to cats. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? I swear. Uh, tell the truth. Uh, I want to be at Pride as a kid. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. <laughs> Damn, we'll do. Should we do another lie? <clears throat> you want to cheat? <clears throat> no, we'll put two truths. No cheating. Country music makes me throw up. I used to love country music when I was a kid. 
Now it makes me want to throw up. Literally. That's... weird. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. <clears throat> I'm not sure why country music makes you throw up. I'm a complex girl, Rachel. I think it's probably true. Also, I kinda like the Dixie Chicks. You and David both. No accounting for taste. Who's <clears throat> David? He's, ah, uh, <laughs> the guy my mom's seeing, I guess. Oh. And you don't like him. <laughs> it's still so weird that she's dating someone. My dad and my mom, <laughs> they were totally in love. You can tell how fucked up she is now just by how she's settling for David. He's this total hard-ass ex-military jagoff type. The opposite of my dad. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, David has no respect. He acts like I'm some kind of problem to solve. Sometimes I am a problem, though. Mm. That's a load of bullshit. No, it's not. What do you mean? You're not a problem, Chloe. You're a person. It sounds like the only problem is David. You need to hit him where it hurts. <laughs> the only thing that David loves has four wheels and a four-barrel carburetor. Oh, God. A muscle car? Yep. I'm probably going to steal it soon, so... Let me know if you need an accomplice. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. So, pirate. Obviously true. Like you said. Arr. <laughs> Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling lie. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic. But I've passed by your locker a few times. And I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. Oh, dude. You've passed by my locker? Stalker much? Hey, I notice things. I can't help it. I guess you're no stranger to being noticed, too. It's kind of new for me. Well, get used to it. It's pretty so, girl. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Nice. I'm impressed. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the mm. district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first, embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Sure. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. <laughs> the eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. Also, you told me about that dickwad David. Now he's on my shit list too. Hell yeah. Mustache brain won't know what hit him. I guess. You hmm. opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Uh, trust is hard. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. We don't know her, so Maybe we can't really if trust had her my yet. Life, you'd understand. No, I get that. On the other you hand, you can't trust somebody that quickly. I got on you know? this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Mm. 
wouldn't mind listening to some music. Oh, uh, should we share with Rachel or listen alone? I guess we'll share with her. Hey. Kind of rude to listen to music you without her listen? listening too. <laughs> I still don't get what the whole Pyramid Illuminati thing is up there. Is that like a decision thing? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Sometimes these scenes can be long, we'll see. I don't know if we're supposed to skip it or not. I guess we'll leave it, I guess. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. Reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe yep. one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes <laughs> I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Suck a bag of dicks? Don't be surprised. Well, then there must be one big bag of rubber. If one day... I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say what? jump? Jump! No way. No way! Scared? That's not the Chloe Price I know. Trust me, this is the only Chloe Price there- huh. Makes her jump anyway. What if I break my leg, dude? See, there's that pyramid thing. You guys know why it keeps doing that? I don't even know why it does that. It's the Illuminati coming to get us all. <laughs> oh, it's a joke, by the way. <laughs> I'm just kidding. How cool is that statue? <coughs> hey, it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Okay. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is what I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? <laughs> that you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Oh. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we've got some High-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. All right. Oh, she's shorter than Chloe is. That blows. It's out of well, order. Shit. Guess you're not playing that game. That was my last quarter. You? 
borderless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh yeah? Let's see what you got. MacGyver something up, huh? We gotta do use a pebble? Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. Uh. Damn, that's an old tree. Wait, does this sign say butt rot? Butt rot? Where? <coughs> uh. I don't see butt rot. What you talking about? Oh, it does! Estimates age the tree at 400 to 450 years old, though interior butt rot <laughs> prevents more accurate analysis. Oh my gosh, butt rot. Okay then. Okay, uh. Got something around here we can use maybe? Can we like beat in this thing or something? Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Oh, we can pry it open. Okay. Uh. I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use? Is there a rock or something, maybe? On the ground? What is that? Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? <laughs> Is it metal? Oh, I work. guess you could stab someone with a nail file. <coughs> oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. <laughs> Victoria. Chloe Price. I heard some fucked up shit from Nathan about you. Who do you think you are? You don't know anything about him, you dumb fuck up. Go back to your trailer. By the way, Rachel Amber obviously played you last night. You'll be lucky if she ever talks to you again. Oh shit, why didn't I see that I'm so hurt? This is just the beginning. Great. Twat face. Alright, let's pry this open, baby. Nope. Damn it. It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. Hmm. Well, I seen something on the ground there. It looked like a... That thing, but I guess I can't. Uh. I don't want to head down there just yet. Alright, alright, alright. There's gotta be something around here. Uh... Yuck. Cliche much, A.W. and B.W.? Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. Uh, what about this over here? Tire I'm gonna sweat. need a bigger prior majigger. If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost, or some shit. <coughs> Get out of there, dudes. Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self-respect. <laughs> There's probably something in the garbage. I'm not seeing anything. We can't go anywhere. I'm not seeing anything else around. Hmm. Well, um, the sign won't do us any good. Is there anything metal around here? <clears throat> Dwight Mueller really killed it with this statue of an explorer guy. <clears throat> Where are all my explorer ladies at, though? Probably at home. Washing laundry and spitting out kids. <laughs> Fuck you, Dwight. 
Okay. Is there like nothing around? There maybe? No. I don't know, maybe I'm just missing something. Because it looks like there's something right there at her feet. See it? But like... It won't let me pick it up. I'm gonna need a bigger prior majigger. Yeah, I know, dude. Bye, you fools. Oh, there we go. No, they keep coming back. No, that's not gonna do any good. I figured there'd have to be something in the garbage. Over here, maybe? Oh. I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. Hmm. Um. Totem pole, wine. These guys have anything, maybe? My hierarchy of needs goes pot, then beer. Hey, spare some change? Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not... What kind of food? This place has <laughs> really gone downhill. Shh. She's right there. <laughs> hmm. He thinks I want it for food. Any in here, maybe? I'm not finding anything. Yep, it's official. I'm learning way more ditching school than I ever do in class. <laughs> Whoa, that's badass. Well then, these two are of no help. What's worse than groveling for change? Groveling for change and failing. Okay. Well, I don't know then. Wait. Is that the same A.W. as before? Not afraid of commitment, I see. Hmm. Oh, there we go, unscrew. There we go. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> hey, heads up, Wells is on the warpath. Oh no, seriously. Just trying to help. Yeah, right, you killed me this morning. That's what the GM does, dude. Also, thanks for playing with us, Mikey had a blast. He's cool. He's been down lately, not sure why, but I know playing with you men a lot. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's do this. Let's First do it! Power, activate. There we go, let's grab a quarter out of there. <coughs> She's gonna cut herself. No. Nope. There we go. I win. That was enough of a game for me. Your MacGyver skills are second to none. Except probably <coughs> MacGyver. <laughs> Oh, 
<clears throat> Rachel smells like... Jasmine? Is she smelling me right now, too? Really should have showered this morning. Nice. Right. <laughs> Here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. They totally stole my third grade art project. Wow, you made that? Yeah, you tell. It does have a certain give zero fucks quality that I recognize. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God, Ew. you just have the best ideas. Okay. Oh. Hmm. What's going on with these two? Hunting party. If you want lunch, you're going to have to learn how to skin your own food like a man. But I don't know how to skin a bald eagle, Dad. You don't? What the hell are they teaching you in school? <laughs> wow. That was dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? Super wedgie. No matter how fast I go, I'll never outwalk this wedgie. That's so tragic, but also beautiful in its own way. <laughs> um. Oh, there you go. Sweet beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? Nature's Wi-Fi sucks. Nature's Wi-Fi sucks. Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. If only I can guess their password. We love nuts, 69. Dingoes, <laughs> little babies, 13. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, dragon. Is this that is onion fun. I smell? Who's next? Oh, those two. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Excuse me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Jackpot. Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Uh-oh. Vibrating bread beds. Oh, honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> Rachel? She got all quiet all of a sudden. Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. What? I don't know. I might still be hungover from last night. Wrong answer. You don't ask a girl out and then and then not buy her a drink. What? What's she talking about? She got really irate just there. She knew one of those they people. Have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead. No. 
You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And fuck it, I just want to take something that's not mine. <coughs> All right, I'm going in. Try to keep up. Wow. Um, can we help you? <sighs> <coughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit. Talk about committing to a performance. She's gonna get caught. Oh, thank God. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! I I already called 911. They they should have an ambulance here any moment. In the meantime, they said to keep close watch on her. Like turn all the way around and really focus. Watch out. I'm going to check the pulse. <laughs> That's on her neck, right? I still think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side of the park. Good point. We'll keep watch while you go. Did you know red wine has recently been found to help against strokes? Hey, we're in luck. You have some red wine right here. I'll just go ahead and administer it to the patient. <laughs> Hold on. There's something off about this. Are you girls putting us on? <coughs> Rachel, <coughs> run! What the hell? Uh Great. Then she hits the guy, of course. It's always the guy's fault. Whoa, girl, you drink a lot. So, My goodness. maybe your acting could use a little work, but at least you committed to the performance. No, thanks. You're the one who really worked for it. Suit yourself. Holy shit balls. I'm gonna drink down the whole bottle. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Tree has a straw hat. How awesomeness. Right, Tiger. Shouldn't drink too much there, Rachel. Check this out. What? The junkyard. The one from the first one. That's where they ended up hanging out a lot. Wasn't it Rachel, the one that had a thing for Frank? The drug dealer dude? Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh, <sighs> yeah. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Yeah, so you Rachel's got drunk. been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? Hmm, who knows? I'm gonna call her out. It's after she saw those two kissing. She knew one of them, I think. I've heard that actors are moody, but 
Wow, Rachel. I'm not moody. I just need some space. Is that all right with you? Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. No, I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? Sad Chloe's fucking sad again. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! <laughs> uh... Wow. Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but apparently she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Score. So you want to get mad? Here, take this and smash stuff. Give her a show. Hey, check it out. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer drinking it next to an old toilet. Home run! Can I see? Sure. Are you gonna bash in now? I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I know you're the school princess and all, with the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass, but seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! Why not? Because, because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? Hmm. It's a friendship. We don't really know each other, but... A real friendship. I thought Chloe Price doesn't need friends. I, I thought so too, <coughs> before today. I, I guess it's easier to be alone if you decide it's a choice. I'm sorry for whatever I did or didn't do. <coughs> Today was the best day I've had since, since my dad died. And I screwed it up somehow. Like I screw everything up because I'm a fucking screw up. Chloe, please. No, you're not. I don't want to be alone anymore. I'm sorry, Chloe. I can't say why, and I know it isn't fair. But I can't be your friend right now. What? Can't or don't want to. Does it matter? I'm really sorry. Goodbye, Chloe. Oh, crap. What the hell? Well, that's not good either. Oh, she's mad. Here she goes. Fuck this place. Fake and hollow. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah! Fuck off, Rachel. Did I just hear a text message? I think I did. Chloe, I'm worried about you. Please let me know you're okay.
I've never understood your hard on for cameras, Max. <coughs> you took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Fuck cameras. Oh yeah, TV monitor is bad, just bad. Oh, you got your you got your bat stuck. Yeah, exactly, Dragon. Seems like what's her face was right. She was just gonna use her. I don't know, but it's better to be in a junkyard, taking your pressure out on all the garbage that's you around than someone else. Apart from the inside, it's important to bring <coughs> the proper tools. Thank you, David. Get it out, girl. Get it out. Get it out, Chloe. Uh-oh. What'd she see? What is it? Dad. What? Oh. Her dad's car. Jeez. Gosh, that's where it all started for her, eh? She basically gave her false hope of a friendship, you know. crying sweetheart oh jeez that was a creepy crow because you're not real <laughs> i'm not what is going on what's past is prologue and shit kiddo look on the bright side would ya what bright side you made a new friend today. Yeah, right, and then she just backed off and said she didn't want to be a friend. Because she's a douche nozzle.
to draw some graffiti on them. Hey, where's my marker? I guess I did that. Gotta say, that was some fight. <laughs> she nearly took your head off. Hmm. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. Oh. There it is. <laughs> On the tip of the bottle. Sometimes people need you, though. Even when they don't admit it. Great. <laughs> Jeez. Rachel. Back in again. That's awful. I guess she fell asleep in the car. <coughs> wow. Poor girl. She could have used Max right about now. You'll be all right. Oh, dragon. Oh, that was like a little firefly or something. I thought it was like going to land on her or something like that. It must have been an awful way to go if he was actually smashed by a transport like that. You came. I'm glad. Are you sure about that? I got kind of a different message this afternoon. Yeah. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. <coughs> you don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that? guy that we saw under this tree with that woman. The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. All right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is... <laughs> I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I thought I could catch him or something. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't... I don't know what to say. Neither do I. 
Chloe. I love my dad. Wow. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. That'd be so hard as a kid. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. Oh, wow. I remember screaming like I was gonna die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him? Completely. <clears throat> Man, we gotta be careful, just Chloe, kind of a loose I cannon at the moment. I owe you an apology. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Meeting you, this friendship, it means more to me than you could possibly imagine. I just want you to know, I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? <laughs> Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? Two against one. But you wouldn't take any shit from them. I'd be dead if you hadn't thrown that bottle. You inspired me. Hmm. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. <laughs> I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... Fuck your dad. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing <laughs> keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Uh, no. Okay. Okay? <laughs> what about your parents? People that love you. Gonna, oh, what you gonna do? Can I borrow your lighter? Don't burn it, you'll regret it. Your dad's still your dad, Thank he just you. made a mistake. Parents make mistakes sometimes. She's gonna burn it and she'll regret it. I think hating him is the wrong approach, but... Come on. Oh no!
the whole place on fire. What is happening? What the hell just happened? It's, oh my gosh. She's got some kind of power. Holy shit. Everybody's going to notice it now. <clears throat> Everybody's seeing it now. Is that her dad? Talking to the cops, maybe looking for Rachel. Who's that? Is that the chick he was making out with? Oh. Who's that? The big question. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> that'd be episode one, babies. Wow. Cliffhanger. I guess we'll find out in the next stream what happens, huh? <laughs> oh, boy. This is going to be a good story. It's going to get good now. Wow. All right. Well, I guess, guys, I guess we're going to call the stream here. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, thank you everyone for coming out tonight. Thank you so much to everyone who did stick by and watch. And, uh, I hope all of you have a wonderful evening. Don't forget, guys, check out my Discord if you haven't joined it already. Um, hope you put this up on YouTube. Oh, yeah, I'm going to, Dragon. Um, so I have to wait for 24 hours. So it's 11 now, so not tomorrow night 11, but the next morning, I'll put it up on YouTube. Um, yeah, so anyway, guys, um, Monday uh, at 8 p.m., uh, we are doing a uh, special game, uh, and it's going to be lots of fun. So tell your friends, tell everybody about it. It's in my Discord, and we're going to have lots of fun playing this new party game for everybody so um anyway guys have yourselves a wonderful night and i will catch you on the next stream catch you later <laughs>